channel from BED3. And this video is about exploring the following software application or media tools. So let's start it! So the first application is Dropbox Paper. So Dropbox Paper it is an online document workspace where we can organize and display text, media, and files all in one place. It also lets us easily collaborate or our paper docs from anywhere. And the use of it in teaching and learning process is that it is the answer as it allows us to have a shared folder on each computer or device that is installed on. The teacher has simply drag and drop the presentation to the Dropbox folder and it is instantly replicated to Dropbox folder on all computers and devices that the teacher has allowed. The second application, Office Online. It is a free version of Office 365. It is linked to our Outlook or Microsoft account because it's a web application that runs in our browser. Office Online will run on everything and the use of it is it lets us create Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, and more. We can store the documents we create plus any other files we want on Microsoft OneDrive, an online file storage service. The number three application is Google Docs. It is a free web-based application in which documents and spreadsheets can be created, edited, and stored online. Files can be accessed from any computer with an internet connection and a full-featured full web browser. And the use of it is it allows teachers to monitor each student's development and improvements. The feature allows teachers to see the types of revisions and drafts that have been created for a particular document as well as which students made edits to each document. The fourth application is Etherpad. It is an open source web-based collaborative real-time editor allowing authors to simultaneously edit a text document and see all of the participants' edits in real time. With the, with the ability rather to display each other's text in their own color. And the use of Etherpad is, it is a free writing tool which allows us and your students to work simultaneously in a simple text document. Etherpad is reminiscently reminiscent of Google Docs but it requires no login and is therefore easier to start using. The fifth application is Zuhu. It is online database builder. Its easy drag and drop interface lets us create custom applications for every data collection need. Define workflow and also configure business rules that are unique to our business and the use of this is it can upload and collect assignments online track attendance schedule and exams grade then able to send important notices to students the sixth application is open office apache open office is the leading open source office software suit for word processing, spreadsheets, presentations, graphics, databases, and more. It is available in many languages that works 
on all common computers. A patchy open office meets the needs of both teachers and students. The flexible word, word processor, powerful spreadsheets, dynamic graphics, database access, and more met all requirements for an office software package. Open Office can be used freely and distributed with no license words. The seventh application is Abbey Word. Abbey Word is one of the rare text processing software which allows local users to edit simultaneously a same shared document in a local network without the requirement of an internet connection since 2009 and the use of it is many features of word processing can improve readability for students number eight application is jarty jarty is a word processor for users of microsoft windows based on the wordpad engine produced by carolina road software in terms of market appeal, Jarty is a lighter alternative to the feature laden Microsoft Word. The use of it is that we can easily create multiple documents without stacking up your taskbar with multiple windows. The ninth application is called the WPS for free. The WPS for free is an office suite for Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Android, and Harmony OS developed by Zuhai-based Chinese software developer Kingsoft. It also comes free installed on Fire tablets. The use of this app is it can help students showcase their idea directly through the app or using PowerPoint files. And students can enhance their own creativity using the app's formatting tools. The 10th application is SoftMaker Online. This app offers the full featured set of a desktop office suit with word processing, spreadsheets, and presentation graphics on mobile services. The use of this app is students and teachers can purchase SoftMaker Office for a lower price. Additionally, a free version named Free Office is available. The 11th application is called Khoot. Khoot is a free student response tool for administering quizzes, facilitating discussions, and collecting survey data. It is used to motivate and activate students' learning because it can test their knowledge and help them retain information. The 12th application is Mentimeter. Mentimeter is an online tool which can add an interactive element to a lecture, presentation, and recorded session. The use of it is it enables us to engage with students using live pools, word clouds, quizzes, multiple choice questions, and more. Communicate and interact with your students. The 13th application is called Flipgrid. Flipgrid is a video tool that allows teachers to post topics that are essentially videos with some accompanying text. The use of it is to allow students to speak to the group but without some fear that might constrict responses in a real-world situation. And students can re-record the responses. The 14th application is called ClassPoint. ClassPoint is an integrated interactive teaching 
and classroom quiz tool design for every educator who uses PowerPoint. The use of it is it engages students during online lesson and encourage them to participate and express their thoughts and test their learning. The last application is called Wakelet. Wakelet, it is a content curation platform where teachers and students can save links, social media posts, videos, photos, or images as items to later be organized into a private or public collection. Users can add notes too. And I love that it is free, works on all devices, and takes only minutes to demonstrate and bring users on board.